All right, welcome back. Wisconsin versus Yoder. All right, so once again, our context here for this case is looking at the Bill of Rights and how it is continually being interpreted to balance the power of government and the civil liberties of individuals. So government versus individuals again in this case. All right, so the facts of this case, Wisconsin had a law that mandated school attendance until age 16. This came into conflict with Amish families who refused, for religious reasons, to send their children to high school once they finished 8th grade. So they would send them to school up until and through 8th grade, but not to high school based on their religious uh, values. They felt that uh, high schools were incompatible with those values. So the question then is, does the Wisconsin law mandating compulsory school attendance violate the First Amendment's free exercise clause. So normally we wouldn't think of um, mandatory school attendance laws as being a free uh, exercise or freedom of religion issue, but in this case we do have the freedom of religion, free exercise of uh, Amish community coming up against the right of the state to make such a law. The holding by the Supreme Court in a unanimous decision uh, said that compelling Amish students to attend public school beyond 8th grade violates the Free Exercise Clause. So Amish families did not have to send their, their children to school uh, beyond 8th grade. Why would they rule that way? Well, the constitutional principle that was used to this, uh, support this decision is that individuals' interest in free exercise of religion outweighs the state's interest in compelling school attendance beyond 8th grade. In other words, yes, states are allowed to make laws that make uh, school attendance mandatory, and the state has an interest in having an educated populace um, and, and having certain requirements like that. However, we also have free exercise rights to practice our religion of choosing in the way that we would like to practice um, as long as those rights don't come into conflict with other people's rights. And in this case, the Supreme Court ruled that that free exercise, it outweighed or was more important, was more vital than the state's interest in enforcing this particular policy. All right, so key quotes from the majority opinion. The court found that the values and programs of secondary school were in sharp conflict with the fundamental mode of life mandated by the Amish religion. So obviously with um, Amish people tend to not use modern technology, that would be something that would be used quite heavily in um, modern high schools today. Um, but not just that, just the moral values and the, the way of thinking is obviously quite different than uh, what they promote as well. And so the majority is simply acknowledging that fact here. And then they go on to say that where the state says um, that the Amish position is fostering ignorance and that the state has a duty to protect those Amish children from ignorance, um, it says here that no one can question the state's duty to protect children from ignorance, but basically this argument doesn't work in this case. Um, it says that uh, whatever their idiosyncrasies as seen by the majority, so whatever little quirk, quirky habits or, um, you know, it's certainly not a mainstream religion. But whatever is true about that, it says that the Amish community has been highly successful, a uh, social unit within the society, even if they're apart from the conventional mainstream. In other words, uh, just here again saying that the religion practiced by the Amish isn't one that is based on ignorance. Um, it's a choosing a different way of life and that they have every right to choose that way of life if they so desire. All right, subscribe, hit that like button for me. This has been a La Money production.